it's Lindsay, welcome back to The Wandering Reader. Today I'm going to be doing the Booktube Real Talk tag um, and I was tagged to do this by Simone over at Me, Simone and I. I'd never come across her channel before um, but she tagged me uh, on Twitter um, and actually I've watched a couple of her videos and really really enjoyed what I've seen so far and subscribed to her channel so I will leave a link to her, her video down below so you can go and check her out. Um, yeah she's definitely somebody that I'm looking forward to seeing more of um, and the original video was was by a channel called Books with Alyssa J. So again, I will leave a link to the original video down below. There are eight questions um, in this tag. So let's jump into the first question. Question number one, what's something nobody told you about BookTube before you started your channel? Um, I would say that the idea of, you know, you're under a, just a little bit of pressure and well this is pressure that you put on yourself basically in order to basically read as much as you can and at the beginning of starting my channel I found that you know it's a real lovely challenge to have you know I was so engrossed in what in the community and things like that and I, I still am but there are certain like crunch points during the year where I'm really busy at work and things like that and and I, I find it really difficult to concentrate on reading um, and to have enough books to talk about to have great content on my channel. So I would say that that's something that Pete, that I certainly didn't really realise before I started my channel. Um, and um, yeah, that, that kind of I've, I've learned an awful lot about as I've gone on. Question number two, what is your opinion on typical Butchie videos? I have no problem with them whatsoever and in fact I like watching the typical booktube videos and I like making the typical booktube videos. You know I don't generally tend to do monthly TBRs because they don't really work for me uh, but I love watching other people's TBRs, you know their wrap ups, their hauls and um, you know th these are what what booktube is all about you know it, it you know it, and it's i think it's great when people come up with different kinds of videos um that are different from those um you know brilliant you know and and we should be doing that but at the same time there are these videos that i would say are the foundation of booktube and the things that people always come back and watch so when i look at for example my viewing figures for wrap ups tbrs and book hauls they are always a lot higher and significantly higher than other videos that i make so for example book reviews which again you would say is a typical um a typical video to make on on a booktube channel but actually they get less rev um less watches tags get less less watches um, and then sort of like other videos that you make like discussion videos and stuff like that and again not in it for the numbers in any way shape or form uh, but you can see the popularity of the original videos and I I don't think there's anything wrong with that um, you know I enjoy watching them I enjoy making them uh, question number three what is an assumption you had about booktube before you joined was it proven to be correct or not um the only thing I could think about for this one is that I assumed that booktubers, by the when they by the time they reached a certain level on their channel, that they would get sent books by publishers, and that is true to an extent. Um, I, but to an extent. So, for example, myself. Um, I've got just over 2,000 subscribers, you know, that that's a significant number of subscribers in my opinion. Um, you know, there's nothing to turn your nose up against at all. Um, and I, I get approved for proofs from NetGalley, although I was approved for proofs before I started on BookTube. Um, and I... I would say maybe every couple of months I get emailed by a publisher um, or an independent sort of asking can I would you like a copy of this book to review um, so you know it's starting to become a bit more of a regular occurrence uh, when it comes to my, my channel it's not really regular but then I think I can 
maybe I couldn't really keep up with that at this particular point. Um, but I love receiving um, proofs um, from publishers. I think it's absolutely amazing. Um, and the idea that I can read something before um, a book is published and give you guys some advice on whether you think it would be something for you, I think is a great um, privilege to have. Um, but I think it becomes a lot more prevalent when your channel is bigger, obviously, because you've got a wider audience then and therefore, um, it, you know, your thoughts are going to reach more people, basically. Question number four, what is something you've done that has actually helped you grow your audience? I've got two things that I think I can really say for this one. Number one is consistency. Um, there have been a few periods on my channel where I haven't been as consistent with my video making I've definitely noticed that I get a bit of a dip in views or a bit of a um, a dip in subscriber numbers um, for that particular um, period of time so if you the if you can be as consistent as possible right so I'm going to do a video every week or I'm going to do two videos every week um, I try to do two videos every week that generally works for me there are there's the odd week where I um, have to kind of do one but two videos a week is what I aim for and I really find that um, as as I'm making two videos a week and uploading two videos a week that consistency definitely helps my channel to grow um, but also kind of going back to a previous question um you know making the things that people watch that typically watch on booktube um so book calls and um tbrs and wrap-ups um so i've recently gone back to making monthly wrap-ups um instead of weekly ones i think they they're going to work for me more on my channel and i think they're going to help my channel to grow it a lot more as well you know um again it's not all about the numbers but it can be quite frustrating sometimes when you you make a video and it doesn't get that many views or your subscriber numbers kind of stall for a little while. You know, it's nice having... Um, okay, so apologies, my memory card said it was full. Um, so I think I was saying that it's nice having, um, like, getting a bit of recognition, basically, for the, the work that you put into your channel. You know, this is a hobby, but at the same time, um, you know, it does you do have to work hard at it um, and I love working hard for it but you know so it's nice to have that recognition so yeah making some videos that uh, making the videos that people expect to see from a booktube channel I think is one way that you can help grow your audience as well and um, you know people do other things like you know you know create themselves a bit more of a niche in that kind of sense and that's definitely a path that I want to go down and explore a little bit more and I, trying that kind of approach you know but for now this is where my channel's at okay question number five what is a common mistake you see new booktubers making or one that you made and um, this isn't just exclusive to booktubers and i'm sometimes guilty of doing this as well um but i see booktubers doing it and i see other people doing it on their channels when people are filming on their phones or on their ipads um, they will be looking at the screen that where they're, they're seeing their face rather than at the viewfinder. So I've got a camera where I've got a little um, screen where I can see myself so that I'm like in shot and things like that. And at the moment I'm looking at the screen over there and this is what I see some people doing and it's really off-putting. Um, and I think it's harder if you're filming on your phone or on your iPad because obviously you've got that little camera in the corner over here that you've got to concentrate on whereas I've got a much bigger viewfinder that I can look at um, but I think it makes a real difference to the quality of your videos if you can remember to look in the actual camera itself rather than at the screen that where you can see your face because I think yeah it can be quite irritating um, at times and it has put me off of watching people in the past um not always um but i've seen a couple of people recently where it's been significantly off-putting so that immediately um came to mind and what i would say as well is um try and be yourself as much as possible it's quite it can be hard for some people to do that when they're 
they're starting off their channel because you know I'm sitting in a room on my own with a camera although my husband's in the other room and he can probably hear everything that I'm talking about um you know but even with, with just talking to a camera it can be quite nerve-wracking at the beginning um and also I kind of feel like you can get caught up in the hype of all of the books that everybody's talking about on their channels and you know the most popular books and stuff like that and kind of ignore your own reading tastes and I kind of felt like this is definitely a mistake that I made and um, I kind of felt like I get get caught got caught up in that hype and didn't really stay true to, to myself and my own reading tastes I think it swings and roundabouts isn't it because then I think I feel like booktube has contributed an awful lot to what my reading tastes are now you know they've developed a lot over the last you know two and a half years since I've been doing this um but but I would say that there have been a lot of books that I've read and bought that I'm that I know I'm not going to read that I'm not really interested in and that sort of idea so yeah that's definitely something I'd say to be aware of. Question number six is what are your thoughts on working with publishers and sponsorships? Obviously I've touched on this a little bit already in this video, love working with publishers. Um, I, obviously I've si there are some booktubers who do like sponsored videos and things like that and I think that's great. I think there can be a bit of a danger in that in terms of I've seen some instances where I'm not particularly convinced that that booktuber liked that book that they're being sponsored to talk about and I think if you're going to do a sponsored video in that way you've got to be really passionate about that book um, because you want to come across as authentic as possible your subscribers your viewers need to trust um, what you are putting across um, because especially if people have been watching you for a little while it can be very easy to spot whether you know you've they're telling the truth or yeah they did really like that or well, I'm not quite sure that actually what they're saying is, is the truth so I think that's definitely a danger and it's uh, by no means everybody that I've seen do a sponsored video in any kind of sense um, but I need to know that I can trust somebody's opinion um, so yeah that's the only issue that I would see with that. Question number seven is like a really weird question and I had a look at when the original video was first publish and it was in January of this year because question number seven is do you think booktube is dying I just find that really really strange in what kind of sense is booktube dying absolutely not um you know there are so many more people joining the community and um, there are so many more people watching the community that I just no, it's not dying. It's just, just ridiculous question to ask, basically. Okay, and question number eight is tag your friends. Um, I'm going to be boring and tag who I normally tag. Um, so, Sarah from Steeped in Books, Karen from Rather Be Reading, Krista from Books and Jams, um, April from Getting Hugger With It, Carrie Ann from Woman vs Books. Let's go with those five. A couple of extras in there that I sometimes don't mention. But anyway. Um, so there you go guys. They were my answers to the Booktube Real Talk tag. Um, I'd love to have a chat with you in the comments below. You know, discuss anything that I talked about in today's video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.